Bartley and letters do 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 becomes this. Hi everyone. Hi classmates. To today, we don't need paintbrush. Paint it. Goodbye paintbrush. Come this way. Let us see what vegetable we can find during painting. This is what we need. Broccoli. <laughs> this is for painting. What we need is lettuce and broccoli. Time to eat. Okay, let's paint. Sometimes the, the paint is messy, so if you have an apron, don't rub them. Like this. Go rub then wear them. Do you have your construction papers ready? Blue if you like daytime. And then don't forget like blue if you like nighttime. I mean dark blue. And then if you like if you like dust, it's purple. Let's go get started. First, just get uh, any table cover just like a calendar. And prepare your construction paper. Have your broccoli and lettuce ready. Prepare your skewer or chopstick. Prepare a paint tray or plastic tray. Prepare a piece of a water bottle cover. If you can find any bigger cover, like a vitamin one. So first, we're going to paint the ground full of snow and also the snow that is falling from the sky. We will use a piece of broccoli for our paintbrush. Let's start first with a white paint. Just pour them into a section of your paint tray. Then lightly dip your broccoli. Then let's paint the foreground by stamping your broccoli. Okay, it's time for dip, dip, dip. Dip your broccoli lightly and dip, dip, dip and dip, dip, dip. Stomp, 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 stomp. Let's go do the snow foreground first, followed by the drizzle snow. So when you first dip your broccoli from the paint tray, the paint is thicker. So do it, do, do it on the foreground first and then whatever is left on your broccoli would be a lighter paint, which you can use it for the snowfall, which will look naturally like a snow falling from the sky. Just lightly dip, dip, dip. Yes, Maddie left the dip, dip, dip portion. So it's very easy to remember. Just dip, dip, dip. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. And enjoy. Hoping you guys are having fun. Now it's time to grab your light blue paint. paint and you're just gonna add few drops into your white paint. Remember, it's just few drops of light blue into your white paint. Then grab your skewer or chopstick so you can lightly mix them. You don't have to fully mix them, just lightly mix them. What is, it does is it will help us create a snow ground with a little reflection of blue from the sky. So, so now lightly dip your broccoli, few dips. And then, stamp, stamp, stamp on the foreground. Remember, only the foreground, not the sky. Only the foreground. This will create the effect like uh, the snow ground is not even color, which is normally not even. And of course, of your dark blue sky, your ground would have a little bit of blue. Now, we're ready to paint the tree. We need the green paint, brown paint, and the bright yellow paint. 
so we need to pour more green it is more green paint okay so put a bit more of green paint then add few drops of brown so i only add three drops of brown on a separate location so three drops of brown on a separate location randomly and then three drops of yellow also on a random location i will explain to you later why we did this and what it what effect it will be on our paint now grab a piece of lettuce leaf so you will dip into your paint and swipe it on your painting like an a shape so it's a swipe swipe if you know you're, you're you're like so it's like drawing a roof of a house you can always grab a paper to practice if you like like an a shape right so it's like an a house so you just swipe down swipe down left and right left to right always remember the middle section so when you swipe downward like an a don't be scared there's no mistake on this painting you just swipe it down like an a shape or like a roof shape and it will naturally produce a christmas tree you will have a natural leaf of a christmas tree and if you notice the brown and yellow that we dro a few drops of brown and yellow it is to give you a texture of the tree just like a natural tree that is not perfectly green has a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow always remember the middle section of your tree uh, has to be consistent from bottom to top and you just keep swiping down like an a you can swipe more if you need it to until your tree is completely formed just swipe swipe down swipe swipe down also remember the top portion of the tree is a shorter swipe the bottom of the tree is a wider swipe so now that you're ready let's do it on the actual paint it's going to be swipe and swipe deep swipe and swipe deep see there's a brown yellow and brown green and then swipe it down like a roof you already did your practice and you should be an expert by now just swipe and swipe deep then swipe and swipe remember when you dip you just dip once do not do not mix your paint you don't want the brown yellow and green to mix all together just let it be where they are and then dip once and then swipe the top of the tree is a little or a shorter swipe and a narrower swipe the bottom of the tree should be a wider swipe so you just swipe it wider on the bottom right then voila you have your christmas tree your christmas tree now is gonna look so natural as if they were made as if they were the one you see on a beautiful landscape if you think there's few portion that still doesn't have color you could just add more but when you add remember to just swipe now we're gonna create that magical effect of your snowman so behind the snowman is like a glowing light so we're gonna create that magical effect and it's gonna be our broccoli that will help us we just need to mix white paint so there's gonna be more white paint and a little bit of red okay remember just few drops of red even one drop or two drops of red should be fine okay but it's gonna be more white Okay, and then we're gonna mix it together using your chopstick or your skewer. Right? Doesn't have to be a perfect mix. Just mix it the way you want it, but it doesn't have to be perfectly mixed. We want that little bit of white and a little bit of pink. 
come naturally. And use your broccoli. Again, it's deep, 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 stump, stump, stump. Deep, 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 stump, stump, stump. You will not be forming like that magical glowing effect. Okay. Now we're gonna add more white into the paint where you are using with the white and red just just add more white in it and then a little drop of orange then mix it again it's gonna give us that different kind of magical color so use the same broccoli doesn't have to be different the same broccoli and then dip and stamp dip and stamp 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 all around it like an oval shape then our magical effect has that little bit of pink and red and white and a little bit of glowing orange and white they are not perfect and they're meant to be not perfect so they would look more magical so for those using uh, an empty tray cover i'm gonna show you they would still work the same so you're just gonna put paint white paint over and this time we will be preparing for the man. So we'll be preparing for the snowman. Just add uh, quite a portion of white paint and grab your water cup cover. It's for the snowman head. Okay, so just dip your water cup cover, the flat, the flat portion of the water cup cover. Then stamp it into your paint. Then you had your snowman head again the head of the snowman doesn't have to be perfect because you just couldn't make a perfect round head of a snowman so it doesn't have to be perfect and don't worry about not a perfect circle because your painting will always look good it's your paint and you are the one making it we do usually wipe away whatever paint left on the cup so we can use it again later so you can just grab any wipes and then wipe them out and you're good to go for the next color now we need the body of the snowman so that's why we need a bigger cup cover so you can use uh, vitamin bottles this vitamin bottle is not empty we couldn't find one so we just grab the whole bottle and then dip the bottom a bit with enough paint then to form the snowman body Right? Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just stamp once and or twice on the same location and you're good. Now I'm wiping it out. Yeah, I just wipe out the vitamin bottle because it's still not empty. Now it's time to make the eyes and mouth of the snowman. So we need the black paint and get grab your skewer or a chopstick the bottom portion of it is a perfect round which can help you make the eyes all right so just dip it if you think the eyes is not enough you can dip your skewer or chopstick again <coughs> then use the other uh, a little uh, the other side of the skewer which is more narrower tip to shape the mouth yeah, if you notice, uh, we always wipe out whatever excess so we can make use of the same skewer or chopstick for the other color. So now we're gonna make the carrot nose, the carrot nose of the snowman. So I'm using the tip of the skewer or the tip of your chopstick if you're using chopstick and then roll it onto your paint. And then I usually turn the painting upside down or the other way around so I can just slowly stamp my skewer to shape the nose the carrot nose of the snowman so now your snowman should have eyes carrot nose and a smiley mouth now let's prepare a few more paint colors like the brown so we can shape the hands you can paint the hands again why we are reusing skewer 
because once you use this skewer and then you just stamp a little and pull it away it will shape like a natural tree trunk tree trunk right like a like a like the trunk of the tree that you or like a branches of the tree that you pick from the tree and then you stick it into the snowman that's how it would look like now it's time to give our snowman his hat so you can use black or any color and then uh, you can use you know the side of the the side portion of the water cup cover you can just dip the side portion of the water cup cover and then slowly stamp it into the head of snowman a little roll and you have the snowman hat okay you've done great now we're gonna wipe it away wipe the cup so they will be clean for whatever color we may need them next add some blue color in your paint tray um, a little bit of yellow on a different location you add yellow and red what is this for this is for us to be able to give christmas light on our christmas tree so our christmas tree will have christmas light just grab the back portion of the skewer stamp once yeah deep once and stop one you just choose whichever location of your tree where you would like to have a christmas light right so which portion of the tree that you like to have the christmas light you just dip and stamp we started with yellow few stamp of yellow then we're gonna do few stamp of red and then later would be few stamp of green few stamp of orange to form like a christmas light so our tree would have a christmas light in the dark again there's no mistake you choose where you like your lights will be your christmas light will be in the tree you place them wherever you want it's your own painting and it will always be beautiful because it is your own work finally our christmas tree has christmas lights and i hope your christmas tree is as beautiful as they are with their christmas light now we're gonna make a muffler for our snowman so we can uh, I, we just uh, use red and white we like our snowman to have red and white muffler you can choose whatever color you like just make sure to do two colors a dark color and a light color so a little bit more of red and a little white doesn't have to be mixed perfectly grab a piece of your broccoli and the same techniques stamp a dip and then stamp some stamp dip and then stamp some stamp remember we are not using any paintbrush so we're just gonna use a broccoli tiny piece of broccoli dip and then stamp some stamp and there your snowman has a beautiful red scarf a little bit of foreground in front of the snowman because we don't want the round body of the snowman to be fully exposed we, we want it to look like a snow covering a little portion in front of the snowman so we grab the broccoli and then dip into your white and blue paint and then stamp 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 so just stamp a little in front of the snowman so that it will cover the the full round circle in the bottom of the snowman 
so then your snowman would look like it's sitting right into the snow. Now it's time to decorate our Christmas tree with some snows. So we need our white paint and lettuce leaf. So the technique for this is just dip 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 and stamp stamp stamp. So just that just uh, dip the, a little bit on the tip of your lettuce leaf and then you just stamp 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 a little portion <coughs> for, for the side of the tree it's like if you can imagine the tip of the pine tree will have some snow sitting on it that's how it would look like so just dip and then stamp 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 tiny stamp So how you like it, the way you like it, or how you would like it to be, it's all up to you. It will always be nice. If you notice, I just put mostly like the edges, edges of my tree leaves. So it's like snow is falling and still hanging around on the Pine, pine tree are still hanging around on the Christmas tree leaves. Now the final part is to give a little bit of snow everywhere on your painting. So just a little bit of snow. White snow like about the snowman around the Christmas tree then it would look like you got some snow in the front and some, some snow at the back of the tree. Right, so just add some more. Very light, very light deep on the tree, onto the snowman. And your painting should be done by now. It's pretty much complete now. I hope you learn something and have fun. Our painting technique is so easy, right? Now your painting is like a pro.